what up, what up, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Hey, a um, few thoughts on the top of my mind. Remember, time is your greatest asset. Everything you do costs something. Everything costs something. Every conversation, every thought pattern, whether it's moving you to a higher frequency, a higher um, towards your goals, elevating your emotional state of operation. Every single thing costs. Every moment costs. Every opinion you listen to costs, right? Costs you in time. And it's worth it if it's strengthening you. If it's not strengthening you, if the dudes, you're with the dudes and they just want to talk about girls and like, you know, drama or whatever, it's costing you some of your most important assets. The other consideration is pay attention to your conversation because the quality of your life will be dictated by the quality of the conversations you're having. Your state of operation comes from your triad of state, focus, physiology, conversation, the conversation in here. Um, and then what comes out your, out of your mouth will tell you and the world, very important, um, will tell you and the world uh, what's inside your heart. And what's inside your heart is what you're going to move towards because it's what you're going to see and perceive and believe and put value on. Therefore, it's what you're, you're physically, mentally, and emotionally going to move towards. Um, you will create a situation to make yourself correct. The more conscious you become, the less of a problem this becomes. The more confident you become, the more faithful, um, st strong, the stronger you become, which empowers you to take more faithful action, which causes you to not have to be driven by fear for protection as much. Then you can really start looking at reality in a sober-minded way, looking at your own imperfections, understanding that those imperfections um, are not are not uh, a destination, but just uh, part of your journey, right? But insecure people can't see that. Those imperfections are, are deaths to them, so they have to fight those. But remember that your perspective, your perspective on reality, is a huge determining factor in how you interact with reality and therefore the results you'll get from reality. So if you find yourself complaining, complaining rather than um, having gratitude or being thankful or doing thanks for what you're dealing with and facing, you need to elevate your perspective so you can perform better and so you can extract higher quality experience results and make higher quality contributions to your situation. Um, I'm faced with many challenges that are beyond my ability to uh, solve, right? But that is an honor. That's an honor that comes from the position that I'm in, the place that I've been blessed with um, being demanded to perform it as a result of hard work, the grace of God, right? And you got to become the person you're supposed to be before you get there other than the under the burden of the blessing, but, and that's what I'm talking about, bad things happen, you're faced with challenges, I can complain, instead of complaining, what if I said, you know, who would Batman be without Robin, who would, um, you know, Napoleon be without the Alps, who would David be without Goliath, who would Christ be without the cross, you are honored by your adversaries, the quality of the adversary, it's an honor. And by the grace of God, I'm going to figure this out. And it's going to be amazing what I do. And so then, I'm in a completely different state, a completely different mode. I'm excited to fight. I'm excited to struggle. I go to the fight of the day the way I go to the gym, knowing that this is the best medicine to root out vulnerabilities in me, to root out imperfections in me, to struggle to become stronger, to become smarter, to create better, higher quality systems, better leaders in my organizations. The struggles and the challenges place a demand on me 
the way I place a demand on my muscles when I go to the gym by placing them under immense weight. The struggles and the challenges in life place a demand. That's how you make the champagne. Okay, good to go. Necessity. There is no demand. There is no necessity. There is no growth. You might learn something in a book, but it's not real until you apply it, right? Knowledge is not power. It's potential power. You have to do the thing to have the power. Before that, you're just a speculator, you know? I want to be the man in the ring. So, so much beauty. There's so much grace. There's so much providence. I love the chastening, the chastisement, the pressure, the pain of life. It's all love. Those are my thoughts for today. Love you guys. Let's do this. When closing, all I want to say is don't get bogged down. Don't get into a negative state. Apply yourself. Murder the current weaker versions of yourself. <clears throat> Sacrifice those versions of yourself on the altar of progress. This is what the provision of pressure is designed to do. It's so beautiful. And when you know this, you can step into it in a whole different way. You know, knowing that it's love. You can fight your best fight and uh, spend yourself only to rise again stronger and smarter like the phoenix whether you win or lose it's all about making personal progress to make higher quality contributions by the grace of God whether you win or lose in little skirmishes and battles is important but what's most important is who you become because after that fight's done if you're not dead you're more dangerous I'm thinking three, four, five fights ahead, you know? And uh, when you zoom out and take that perspective, uh, what's in front of you ceases to be so impactful. Anyways, let's do this. Boom, what's up you guys? Byron Rogers here. And um, if that video meant anything to you, if it inspired you, if you appreciated it, um, I just want to ask you to possibly support us on Patreon. Um, I generate hundreds of videos per year and spend thousands on free content for you guys per month because it simply is a passion of mine. It's the way that I want to contribute to the world, you know, to the best of my ability. So obviously I'm going to continue to do it, but I wouldn't be able to make it sustainable without my partners who support me on Patreon. So thank you so much if you already do. And um, if you haven't done that, it's, you know, you know, for what you pay to McDonald's per month, you could help push the mission and this this work forward. So anyways, either way, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, check the link below to support me on Patreon if you're interested in that. God bless, Semper Fi, and I'll see you on the next piece of content, y'all.